Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and another video. I'm excited for today's video because it's pizza time. This will be the second time I'm doing a Dutch oven pizza. First time it came out pretty good, but this time I think it's going to come out great. I got a modification to the plan. Very simple twist to uh, my methods that I did last time. Should improve things. So the list of things to do, shelter, coffee, get a fire going, cook and eat. Let's get started. I always keep my little mug and a glove, keep it safe from breaking. That's a little more level. Been looking forward to this all week. Ah, oh, that's good. I'm a happy camper now. Go get some wood. Right, here's a look 
at the setup, guys. Fire's going right here. My little tinder pouch. Got my tin with flint, steel, and char cloth. And then for tinder, kept it in a plastic bag to make sure it stayed extra dry, but it's a really nice bundle of ripped up jute. Just enough birch, I'm gonna bundle it up nice and tight, stick that into the middle of my kindling. We'll be good to go. bundle as tight as I can get it. It's not a lot, but if I do this right, it should be fine. Now the jute would get it going alone, but I'm going to try and conserve the jute. Just use up the rest of this birch and have the jute for next time. So I want to get it pretty low, as deep as I can, but still be able to reach it. Save that for another time. So a nice piece of flint, steel, decent size piece of char cloth. Just gonna wedge it right underneath it, kind of cradle the edge. And let's see what we can do here. Ah, got it. There we go. So, that was a real time. Getting better at it, but uh, that ember is going. If you can see there. There we go. Okay, before this goes out of me, let's uh, get it going, huh? So... My bundle of jute, get it kind of opened up. I'm just gonna put it right into the middle of it. Pinch it up, it should go up pretty easy. There we go. put out that char cloth and use it for next time. <laughs> That's pretty killer. All right, let's focus on the fire. It looks like it's gonna go no problem though. It's all about prep guys. Getting that really nice bundle of small twigs. Nice dry twigs from the bottoms of uh, pine trees. And uh, it's a done deal.
Okay, killer. Fire's going real strong. Since I'm baking a pizza in a Dutch oven, going big. Still got a lot of wood over there. I'm gonna get a lot of coals going. Um, yeah, looking good. Let's get the pizza toppings prepped, huh? Let's unveil to you uh, my secret weapon this time. All it is is a grill plate. Got my pizza dough at the bottom there. Take that guy out for now. But yeah, last time I had my pizza straight on the bottom and it got pretty crispy, charred on the edges. It fits the Dutch oven perfectly. So um, let's get the pizza built. Fire's almost ready. I don't know about you guys, but this is looking like it's gonna be a good pizza. That looks pretty level. Right, first time I'm doing this with a, a grill plate in there. I'm not too worried about it burning. Question is how long do I let this go? I haven't done too much research on this. There's practically a, a full fire going on top of it. A nice bed of coals under there. I don't know, I'm gonna give it a normal pizza time, about uh, 15 minutes or so. And uh, see what we got. <laughs> I hear it sizzling in there. I'm walking out the little hole, the breather hole. It's looking almost like smoke. I can't tell if it's smoke or steam, but um, I can't look at it. I think I can still, at this point, rebuild the coals on top of it. It's not done, but I definitely don't want it to burn, so. Let's take a look at what we got here. Now, if that's not looking perfect, okay, it's so it's only smoking because the cheese is coming off, but we're calling that pizza. I'm gonna get that off. Okay, as usual, we gotta show you the close-up of the finished product. I am thrilled with how this one came out. You know, it looks just as good as a pizza baked in a regular oven. All right, I'm just gonna tear some pieces off. Oh, look at that. Mm. That tastes fantastic. Doing it caveman style. Didn't cut it. No fork or knife. Doesn't matter. Get my hands greasy as can be. Doesn't matter. 
It's so good. So, fire's gone out, bugs are starting to bug me again. So this is where I'm gonna say the speech and remind you guys to click the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell so you guys can keep up with all my upcoming videos. And until next time guys, take care.